Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to cover a practical related topic from first year microbiology syllabus that is introduction to microbiology laboratory instruments. So these are the instruments that you will be shown in your uh, lab tour and the information will be given. So same way I'm going to explain you, I'm going to introduce you these instruments here. So we are going to cover the incubator, hot air oven, autoclave and color emitter. Uh, another video is uploaded where I have covered the uh, Bunsen burner, wire loop, petri plates and pipettes. Okay, they are also important and basic tools that we use uh, regularly in our microbiology practicals, right? So do watch that video. Do pay your attention when these practicals are covered in your syllabus as right from third year. Uh, you have to work individually, you have to plan your practical, you have to plan your experiment and you have to do everything right from media preparation, uh, washing your uh, glasswares, uh, packing them for autoclaving, then performing the sterilization by using actual autoclave and then performing your uh, experiment in a septic condition. Everything you have to do on your own. So this is the right time to pay attention when you are taught this everything in your practicals okay and in case of ph meter uh, another video is going to be uploaded separately okay so that will be the third part in case of laboratory instruments okay so let's start for this video so first is incubator okay so what is incubator so incubator is an instrument which we use to incubate our um, petri plates or uh, say flask or any other uh, media in which we have inoculated our culture for example the slants buds etc okay we need incubator to incubate them now why it is known as an incubator now incubator is something which has the control conditions like the humidity the temperature the desired temperature is given in incubator okay you cannot uh, always uh, keep your plates outside at room temperature because each and every organism has a optimum temperature requirement okay and that is given or that is provided to that particular microbe inside a incubator so that's the reason why we use incubator in our microbiology practicals so incubator is one of the most infected area in the lab why because um, too many students they use the incubator too many cultures are handled and for incubation purpose we use we keep them or we keep the plates flask or the slants in incubator okay so while handling while taking out the plate while incubating it again what happens the uh, environment of the incubator gets contaminated and that's the reason why it is said here that it is most infected area in the lab another infected area is the wash basin in your microbiology lab where the used media they are scraped out the glasswares which are used for the incubation for your experiments they are washed so that is the most infected area okay another most infected area so incubator it is a breeding ground for all the microorganisms being handled in the lab hence it is necessary to handle this e equipment with care now your incubator it has two doors the inner one is of glass which prevents the flux of air within the chamber which can reduce the temperature that's the reason why incubator has two doors one is the inner one is of glass and the other one which is outside is of metal okay this is how your incubator looks from the outside and this is the inside view okay so it has racks to store your glassware your plates or anything that contains media and a culture okay now this was about incubator now about hot air oven Another equipment which is used for sterilization of glassware like pipettes or pipettes. Okay. Now, generally, uh, the glasswares that do not require plugging of cotton. Okay. Now, the uh, openings and the or the terminal parts of the pipettes or pipettes they are so small that you cannot uh, wrap them and you cannot plug in the cotton. Okay. And you uh, autoclave them. Generally, hot air oven is used. And the temperature for the sterilization of such glasswares is generally 170 to 180 degrees Celsius. And the time for which it is kept is 30 minutes. Okay, at this temperature, it is considered to be sterile or even sometimes 60 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes and 150 degrees Celsius for 150 minutes is also used. Okay, so if you decrease the temperature, you can see a little bit here, you increase the time of incubation or not incubation, sorry, you um, 
expose the glassware for more time for getting sterilized. Now check the temperature first while operating. Whenever you uh, open the hot air oven, you check the temperature whether it is too hot or it is not. Okay, then you take out the glassware. For taking out the glassware, try to use mittens because um, the temperature is too high, 180, 160, it is too high and it can cause harm. So for drying, now hot air oven is also used for drying purpose. So for drying, the drying of glassware, the temperature is 110 degrees Celsius. It is used and you can keep the glassware for 7 hours minimum or overnight. Now use of glassware. Okay, now you use the glassware only after it is cooled. Else if it comes in contact with the cold water, it can crack. Okay, so that's the another precaution you have to take. Now this is the diagram for hot air oven. So you can see there is timer, there is temperature regulator knob, uh, direct through timer, then heat regulator knob, main switch to on and off the hot air oven. Then there is a asbestos door jacket. There are aluminum trays to keep your material inside. Then there is a double wall insulator chamber to maintain the temperature. Okay, then thermometer and this is the door okay so this is how your hot air oven looks so if you want to uh, distinguish between the incubator and hot air oven because they both look exactly the same but uh, two main points to distinguish that is the first is the label is given it is named properly to distinguish between hot air oven and incubator and mostly the incubator has a, a small glass present on the front door as well in some designs okay so this is about hot air oven now about the autoclave so autoclave is virtually a time bomb if it is not handled properly why because it is an equipment or instrument that we use for sterilization under high pressure okay so if it is not handled properly it can explode so be careful when you are handling the autoclave now it is an equipment which is used to sterilize both media and glassware. So the principle of autoclave is steam sterilization and also for decontamination purpose, the autoclave can be used. The operating time or oh sorry, operating temperature is 21 degrees Celsius and the pressure at this temperature is 15 PSI. Now the PSI stands for per square inch. Okay. The pressure per square inch is 15. That is how it is um, set mostly the autoclaves they are set uh, in uh, some autoclaves the digital display is not there then you have to monitor the autoclave okay the pressure in the autoclave is held by six to eight screws on the lead of the top so these are the big screws you can see on the top so they are the one which you have to close tightly so that it can um, handle the pressure hence these screws are the most critical part of the equipment they must be frequently examined to check for wear and tear and also to check for check the holding pins. OK, so here below these uh, screws, there are the holding pins which holds these screws when they are not in use. When that means when you loosen up the screw to open the lead, they fall back. OK, so they act as hinges on which these screws they fall aside. They do not leave the autoclave unattended. That means uh, you have uh, put on the autoclave for uh, sterilization of media and you got a call or you have to uh, do some other work so you have left it unattended and you had gone out or you are in the another room so don't do that because it is actually very risky so you have to attain the autoclave you have to wait till your cycle gets completed so uh, there should be adequate space to assess the autoclave okay and even access the autoclave in case of the emergency a switch for the autoclave should be available far from the working area in case it needs to be switched off without getting close to be to the autoclave okay now about the uh, operation so i will just quickly revise the operation of autoclave here so first you uh, check the drain screen to make sure that it is not plugged as we are dealing with the steam here then uh, for bench top unit you need to 
uh, fill the reservoir with deionized water for till the fill line then you place the items to be autoclaved in the chamber you close the seal and you close the main uh, autoclave lead okay or the autoclave door if it is a horizontal autoclave then on the uh, on the autoclave keypad and you select the type of load the sterilization temperature and time and then you start your then you start means that you run your autoclave cycle okay you fill out the autoclave block if it is required and at the completion of cycle uh, please use the ppe uh, that is personal protective equipments like safety glass um, then lab coat of long sleeves and closed toed shoes and heat resistant gloves because everything that you are handling is now hot and you need to take it out from the autoclave so you don't want any accidents to happen so please use uh, personal protective equipments okay so after taking out all the uh, material uh, you open the door you take out everything and again you close your door okay so all these items they have to cool properly and then you can take them further to your uh, working desk okay now about the main thing that I want to mention here is as you add the water inside the chamber once the water inside chamber it boils what happens the air and water mixture is allowed to escape through the discharge tube okay to let all the air inside to be displaced by the steam okay so the complete displacement can be ensured once the water bubble ceases to come out from the drain pipe okay now uh, once the pressure is reached the whistle blows to remove the excess pressure from the chamber and after the whistle the autoclave is run for the holding period which is for 15 minutes okay in most cases it is for 15 minutes okay for 121 degrees celsius for 15 psi okay now the electric heater is switched off that means after your run is uh, or the, your cycle is complete the heater is switched off and the autoclave is allowed to cool until the pressure gauge can be open okay so this is how you operate your autoclave so i hope this is clear so please pay attention when you are taught about the uh, handling and precautions to be taken for autoclave in your practical session then this is how the horizontal autoclave looks and this is a benchtop small model of autoclave so you can see there is a pressure regulating device then pressure gauze safety valve in case of any accidents the safety valve is very important then auto this is the main autoclave lead then the handles then autoclave body steam release wall vacuum release wall and the stand okay so this is a small benchtop um, model of autoclave this is the horizontal type okay then about the colorimeter so it is the instrument that is used to measure the density of color or particulate matter which is suspended in the liquid okay so it is based on the principle of spectrophotometer so if you are not aware of, about spectrophotometer the principles then do revise them before uh, handling the colorimeter okay the colorimeter consists of a light source which is white light a filter holder a position can be changed to bring the appropriate filter in light path okay and a photosensitive cell the colorimeter cuvettes or uh, covets is a glass tube okay glass type cuvettes are used which is uniformly optically clear and that means that there will be no disturbance of light path as it passes through the tube because it is uniformly optically clear the glass cuvet so the light path can pass through the tube okay when inserting the cuvet into the colorimeter the marks on the tube and the cuvet holder should be synchronized to assure the same position for every reading okay so that there are no errors you should synchronize the marking on your cuvet and the cuvet holder okay then about the operation okay so i am covering the colorimeter here itself so how you operate the colorimeter so colorimeter is plugged into the main supply the filter position knob is turned to bring the bring in place the required filter okay the filter which you want to use you bring it to the place okay 
then a cuvet holding the blank solution that means it can be a water or in uninoculated broth or a reagent blank depending on your experiment whatever you are using as a blank is to be kept in the cuvet holder then you switch on your main supply okay never keep power on without a cuvet holding some liquid because it can cause harm to the equipment or you can get some errors while you are reading uh, while you are taking the readings the mode setting that is a uh, it is a knob it is turned to the position required usually the absorbance abs stands for the absorbance okay the digital display will now show some reading at this point now you want to start with the blank as you are starting with the blank you need to set the zero okay there is a set zero knob which you use to adjust the readings to the zero. Now you fill another cuvet or um, the cuvet with the test solution. You remove the blank and insert the test solution quickly. Do not waste the time uh, between removal of blank and insertion of test solution. Then you take the readings of the test solution that is displayed. Note down the reading. It is recommended that the procedure for blank and test readings are to be carried out twice for the same test solution to confirm the value of the absorbance okay so you repeat the procedure twice to confirm the readings then you repeat the procedure with all the test solutions okay and after all the readings are recorded what you do you switch off the instrument okay don't uh, take out the uh, cuvettes from the cuvettes holder you first switch off the instrument then you take out the cuvettes you wash those cuvettes thoroughly and let them dry in the air before keeping them back in the holder okay so this is about colorimeter so this is how it looks the diagram is given here you can see there is power on off switch then filter positioning wheel you can see it is placed here then this is the cuvette holder okay then digital readout display okay this is the display then you can see there are setting knobs set zero set concentration factor okay and uh, mode setting knobs okay so these are the knobs which are shown here okay so this is how the colorimeter looks so yes i have covered everything that is incubator hot air oven autoclave and colorimeter so i hope the concept the information which i have explained here i have given to you is clear to you all so do like my videos do share my videos with your friends do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon okay so that you get notification on each new video that I upload. Okay. Thank you.